गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वी आर डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिंग द परफॉर्म टॉर्नियर सेट इट इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट सेट फॉर द रिवर्स शोल्डर एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन अ इनले सिस्टम सो वॉट इट डज इट 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 रिड्यूस द टेंशन एंड इट मिनिमाइजेस द टेंशनिंग एंड द इट्स मोर ऑफ अ इनले सॉर्ट ऑफ अ स्टेम सो यू कैन मिडिलाइज द ह्यूमरस so what is important here is understanding the system this has this system has been in market for years and is known for its good performance so uh, let's see the system so it's a very easy system to do uh, the the this is the set which is available in india at present and if you appreciate uh, we'll start from the glenoid so if you see uh, the glenoid system comes with two uh, sizes uh, you have a base plate of 25 mm and you have a base plate of 29 mm and this you can insert either at a 0 degree angle which is seen here or a 10 degree angle which is seen here so if you are using a 10 degree angulation the superior one is marked here so you can you have to mark superior put the uh, uh, jig like this and then it will drill around 10 degrees inferior angulation so this is a inferior 10 degree angulation if you want to achieve this drill will help you you have uh, with that so you can put it either in 0 degree angulation or you can put it in 10 degrees of angulation this is the first step so once you are through with the central uh, wire you have half moon reamers now this reamer is for 25 and this is reamer is for 29 so you have to ream the surface of the glenoid with these reamers these are half moon reamers and these are useful while entering so because you have a posterior uh, uh, retractor so these half moon reamers will help you to go in easily once you are done with the half moon reamers you need to re ream the central boss reamer so this is the central boss reamer this is a central reamer and this is basically uh, we drill it over the cannula itself and once you ream this boss reamer then you have an option of three uh, central fixation you can use either a 6.35 mm screw you can use a 9.5 mm screw and you can use a mega boss so you can use a large post which is 15 mm in length so this um, this is a standard post and you can use a longer post which is available can you show me the longer post please so there is a there is a reamer which is there for the longer post so if you want to use that you you can use a longer post so normally in all my regular cases i would use a 6.5 mm uh, screw in those scenario in which you don't get a good fixation with 6.5 mm screw you use the 9.5 mm screw if you want to use a tap that tap is available and then you have the depth gauges which are available and this actually device will hold the base plate into its position now this is the reamer for the mega uh, post so this is a post this is a longer post so in reveal scenario when you don't have a adequate good central purchase you can use this uh, a, a, a reamer and use a large post centrally to fit it so 6.5 9.5 and large post these are three options so it can be used for a standard as well as revision scenarios so once you are through with that you have an option of putting screws on the superior and inferior side you have a screw which is locking in a variable angle and and on the anterior and posterior side you have simple compression screws at least two screws are mandatory and if you are using a lateralizing option it is recommended that you use a screw which is more than 26 mm in size to have a very good purchase because if you are lateralizing your base plate or you are lateralizing your glenosphere it is better that you have a very good purchase on the glenoid because there are a lot of lot of wear and tear forces there so superior inferior minimum 26 mm screw is important this is a locking uh, variable angle screw which is there can you show me the uh, variable angle sleeve so the variable angle sleeve is available so this is the variable angle sleeve which is there so this sleeve you can see you can tilt it little bit in the direction and then this rim this 5.5 mm screw will go into the direction now important point is the screw will be impacted into the base plate but technically the screw is free into the base plate so you start whenever you the 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 back table will give you a screw base plate construct together 
and you start screwing and when you screw in the end you will feel that there is a compression in the end because the screw is not locked into the base plate the screw will slide and in the last few turns of the screw the base plate will compress well against the glenoid so that is that will give you a very nice glenoid set now this set gives you an option of lateralizing the base plate it gives you the option of lateralizing the glenosphere so if you see the glenosphere there are four varieties of the glenosphere which is available 33 36 39 and 42 the 36 and 39 and 42 are available in two other options so you have a standard glenosphere then you have a lateralized glenosphere if you want to lateralize and then you have an eccentric glenosphere if you want to inferiorize so this is the superior marking if you see this is the superior marking and this will you can actually do an inferior placement of the glenosphere so this is one important thing the other good part about this system is the glenosphere is locked into the base plate with a small screw so it does there, there is a very less chances of disengagement so supposedly if you want to lateralize you can use this uh, this lateralized glenosphere apart from that the lateralization option is also available so if you see the lateralized uh, uh, base plate you can see that it is more thicker uh, glenosphere it is more thicker than the standard glenosphere so in and in the system which are classically based on the inlay platform it is recommended that you lateralize because if you lateralize you will get a better range of motion and you will get a better function uh, because increasing the lever arm is important so that is very important here so if you are using an inlay system my preference is to use a lateralized glenosphere but you can use a standard one and if you want to inferiorly shift your uh, inferior shift your glenosphere you can do it here so you have an option of a lateralized base plate and a lateralized glenosphere so this uh, covers the part of our glenoid now as far as the stem is concerned uh, the tornier gives you an option of sizes 1 to 4 and if you can see here these are the 1 to 4 sizes of the stem which are available now these stems are also available in plus size long size and extra long size so a large pattern of the uh, stem size is available but the important thing here is the stem preparation so i the most important thing is to prepare the stem properly and for the stem there are two kinds of fits that you get one is a metaphyseal fit which is the base of the inlay system and then the stem so the first thing that you need to take care is you need to size the size the humeral cut and you have a size one size 2, size 3 and size 4 uh, protection plates that you can use to protect your cut. Once you are done with the cut, you need to place the recommended 1, 2, 3 or 4 size base plate right on to the cut. If your cut is little superior, it is recommended that you place the, 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 this device little superiorly and if you cut a larger cut, then you can place it little inferiorly. Once you are do, uh, done with that, the position with that, you put a wire inside and this wire should be passing out through the lateral cortex and over that we would ream with the reamers which are given. So these are the reamers that are given and these reamers are used to ream the metaphyseal area. Once you are done with the metaphyseal reaming, you need to ream the central part of the diaphysis. So once you are done with the metaphyseal reaming, like this is the number three metaphyseal reaming. After that, you will use the diaphysial reaming with this. So you put this into the metaphyseal area and then this slot will be used for the diaphysial reaming. So if you are using one, use one diaphysis. If you are using two, use two diaphysis. So this is how after putting your stem like this, this diaphysis will go and this will give you a good purchase. So there are two preparation, metaphyseal preparation as well as the diaphyseal preparation. Once you are with the preparation, you are done with the preparation, this is the impactor. Now this impactor is important because you have to impact both on the for the metaphyseal and for the diaphyseal. So whenever you are implanting the implant, you need to implant both on the metaphyseal and the diaphyseal side one by one. So as the, device, the implant will fit both on the diaphysis as well as metaphysis. Now as far as the cut is concerned, 
here the cut is very important and this is the cut that we made so this cut is a 135 degree angle cut so you put it into the diaphysis the cut is placed right side you pin it accordingly after that you take out the wire and then you put place the uh, place the cut just above it here there is a plus 2 option available so if you want to revise the cut you can revise the cut by plus 2 by by just changing your placement of the pin like this so two pins here and correction of the you can take a plus 2 cut by using this jig now here the jig cut is made at 135 degree angle that is based on the uh, uh, 135 degree cut but if you want to increase the angle of your humerus of your stem there is an option of increasing the angle by increasing the base plate angle so if you see the base plates there are variety of base plates which are available so you have a standard base plate and then you have a 10 degree inclination base plate now this base plate will make your cut angle higher so 135 degree angle and this plate base plate if you use over the top of it you will have a 145 degree angulation and you will be more close to the gamma principle of a 155 degree angle cut so this is a classical inlay if you want to make you can make it at a 10 degree uh, uh, offset sort of a base plate so this is a base plate which you can use if you want to make a classical inlay so this is the base plate if you want to do that now as far as the base plate is concerned again there are variety of options which are available we have a standard plus three and plus plus six base plates which are available for all the sizes 33 36 39 and these upper three base plates are for sizes one and two Whereas the lower base plates like here are for the sizes 3 and 4. Now this is for the whole system. Now we have another system, a deep dish. So these, these are the deep dishes which are available. So if you want to increase the diameter and use a deep dish poly, you have a deep dish option as well. So 0 plus 3 plus 6 and then you have a deep dish option also available for both these sizes. So it is for available for plus... Um, uh, plus 10 as well so you have a variety of options available very variety of modularity which is available in the uh, in the in the uh, in the poly also so lot of poly options also available with this system so as we know that this is an inlay system uh, it's a very good system as far as the range of motion and the functionality of the shoulder goes um, the fracture stem is yet uh, to be awaited. It is uh, it is awaiting a launch in India. But otherwise, for the most other uh, patterns of diseases, this is a very good system and might go to go system as far as the reverse shoulder uh, surgery is concerned. Thank you.